In addition to our existing operation, Fosterville Gold Mine also explore for new mineral deposits across several exploration tenements, both north and south of the operation. Geologists carry out a range of exploration activities to identify which parts of these tenements may be prospective for gold mineralisation. Air core drilling allows geologists to access rock samples from what is called the basement or Ordovician sediment layer, which can be anywhere between 0 metres to 160 metres below the surface. Obtaining these samples helps to determine the quantity and extent of potential gold mineralisation in a short space of time and with minimum disruption and land disturbance. Where possible, air core drilling is safely carried out on public land, such as roadside reserves. If private land needs to be accessed, this is always done in consultation with the landholder. Fosterville Gold Mine will never access private property without the express permission of the landholder. In all cases, potential environmental and community sensitivities, including cultural heritage and traditional owner land rights, are fully assessed. Prior to drilling, the exploration team follows a checklist to ensure minimal ground disturbance to the drill site. We confirm that what we've seen in our dial before you dig process um, is sort of accurate, so we'll check the telstra lines and stuff while we're out here, um, power lines and those kind of things. And when we do that, we also capture a photo to show what the site looked like before if there had been any disturbance, um, which is really critical for, for um, our, our rehab process to make sure that we're getting, getting our sites back to at least how we found it, if not, if not better. Air core drilling uses a truck-mounted rotary drill rig supported by a truck-mounted air compressor in order to recover soil and rock samples from a 3.5-inch drill hole which contains a tube within the drill stem. The soil and rock chips are collected in bags for on-site analysis. A geologist does initial analysis to gather data about the strata of the soil. It's my job as a geologist is to basically understand the geology of what's coming out of the hole. And the way we do that is we end up using our sieves and we dry, and we dry, sieve, um, dry sieve the rocks and wet sieve the rocks and then we end up with chips like this. Um, and yeah, we end up logging it on these tablets here and use these handy little barcodes to help us understand the geology. And we're looking for things like color, the grain size, any of our traditional gold indicators, that's mineral mineralization or quartz. Once the drilling is completed, the site will be rehabilitated. This includes grouting the hole to ensure that aquifers don't get cross-contaminated, covering the top of the grouted hole with topsoil to encourage vegetation regrowth. The process of preparing, drilling and rehabilitating a drill site takes around two to three hours, with the team aiming to drill three to four holes a day. Once we pull off the hole and the whole hole's been grouted, um, we will come back and check the, there's been no slumping or anything in that grout. If it has, we'll, we'll top it up. And then um, we'll come and cut out the PVC piping that sits in the grout. And then all we have to do is give it a final spread over with some um, clean fill dirt. And then as you can see, this, this has only been rehabbed a few weeks ago and you can see all the grass starting to come back through it. Um, so give it another month or so and, and you won't ever realise that we've been here.